Korean quilt. And welcome back, everybody, to KQ. That's right, Korean Quilt, your guide to the Korean language and culture. You know, Richard, you're funny. Thanks, Anna. Uh, funny looking, I mean. Oh, boy, that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to freak... Well, uh, so while almost... you think of a funny one-liner, I'm going to introduce today's key expression, which is kind of funny, strange, or weird itself. 맛이 이상해요. Uh, Matt is weird, what? No, funny looking guy. We're talking about taste today, saying that it tastes funny or, or weird or even a little strange. I tell you what, let me try it a bit slower for you. 맛이 이상해요. Okay, so something tastes funny. 맛이 이상해요. And more naturally, 맛이 이상해요. 맛이 이상해요. So the mat here is taste, not mat like the name in English, silly. And the isangyeo refers to something, the food in this case, being weird or strange or funny or odd. I get it, but we can use isangyeo with other situations, right? We sure can, Buster. For example, imagine something's weird with your cell phone, something's just not right about it. In that case, we can say, Hentupon isangyeo. Okay, how about this one? If my radio is acting up on me, I can say radio isangyeo, right? Exactly. Basically, put any object before the adjective 이상해요 and you're rockin' and rollin'. I love to rock and roll. Okay, so how about we practice one more time before we have to take off today? This tastes strange. This tastes odd. 맛이 이상해요. Something's wrong with my cell phone. 핸드폰 이상해요. And my radio's acting up. Radio 이상해요. Don't forget those phrases and we'll be back with more tomorrow. Bye for now.